in the mood for a really interesting Ernie Ball bass string story, sit back, grab a cup of coffee. You're not going to want to miss this one. Hi guys and welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Well you guys might remember me talking about the Ernie Ball strings and how they came in these plastic bags and well we had three sets in a row, these are two of them, but we had three sets in a row that had two short um, 45 strings. They would not reach the uh, tuner, almost like they were for a short scale or a medium scale. And after talking to Ernie Ball they told me that all of these are for long scales or should be. One of the bags even had two 100s in it, which is really strange. I got that bag right here, and it's quite heavy. Um, plus, it had the short 45 in it. So, three of these. So, I reached out to Ernie Ball, and they said that they weren't supposed to come in these plastic bags, that this was old stock. Now, this was, I'm quoting what Ernie Ball told me. And now, keep in mind, these were purchased from Amazon. Okay, and there's another pack that's ripped in over there, but um, I digress. So anyhow, I ended up putting three strings on my bass, and I had a buddy of mine who had a flat wound for the high string, and um, a new one, and we put it on, so I have been playing it. However, Ernie Ball was kind enough to send me some new flat wounds, and I also wanted to use the group threes, because I liked the way that the three I had played, and um, so... Right now I'm kind of running a mismatched, you know, set of strings because I think the other ones are some chromes or something. I, I forget what it was I got from them, but it was a... So anyhow, I just opened up these strings that Ernie Ball sent me. And my invoice, I didn't pay anything for them. They sent me a couple packs for my trouble. And to my surprise, when I opened up these packs, I haven't opened these yet. They're in plastic. They're not the foil wrappers. Now, I was told that they should be in foil wrappers because the foil wrappers have quality control numbers on the inside for reference. These are the exact same packaging that I got before. This is not foil. This is plastic. Now, when you go on Amazon and you look at these, these are in a white foil package, not a clear plastic package. So, I don't know what's going on. Tempted to give Ernie Ball a call back and say, hey, what's going on here? You said foil package, but you sent me the same ones that I got from Amazon. And there's no way to, to date code these. There's nothing on here to tell when they were produced. Um, anything for quality control on the insides of these. I'm going to take it because there's nothing. I'll give you for instance. There's nothing on the inside of these ones. So if you take these, if you take your... Uh, cover off here. See, in other words, this this part right here should be the package and it should be foil. There's literally nothing on the inside. There's no quality control marks. All you have is SKU numbers. There's no quality control for reassurance for any of these things. And this is my this is my short 45 right here. Now I have three short 45s. Hopefully I don't have five short 45s. <laughs> and I have an extra 100. So, it's kind of weird. Um, how do you quality control check yourself if you don't have a way to check yourself? And, and um, Eric was very nice. His name is Eric um, from the New York branch that arranged for these to get sent to me. But I'm going to have to give him a call because I'm confused. And I relayed to my viewers that these were supposed to come in the foil package as he relayed to me. And what he stated to me is that these in the plastic package were at least four to five years old. So, they haven't used them in a long time. So, did they just send me some more old stock? Because, well, it just, uh, it's getting old. You know what I mean? Because I just want some decent strings for my base that match. And if I open these up and they have short E strings or double strings or something, it's just going to be very frustrating, but... Ernie Ball's customer service, as far as getting a hold of him on the phone and talking to a person, was great. Um, hopefully they work out okay. But uh, I'll let you know what happens, and um, I'll keep you updated. I don't know if I should open these yet or give them a call first. But I wanted to get this video up to tell you guys they did not come in foil, like I was told. So, first time I've ever had trouble with Ernie Ball. Okay, so we all know 
when we order something and customer service tells us something, sorry, I'm all wishy-washy, um, we know what they say and, and, and we expect what they say to hold true and fast, right? Um, after all, um, manufacturers and their representatives are what holds the glue together, right? Holds everything together between the customer and the product. Well, as you know, with these strings that came, I was told, and we always as consumers remember what we're told by customer service representatives because, well, they're telling us about a product or how they're going to fix it. So we, that sticks with us. So I was told that the strings that Amazon sent me, and when you look at the Amazon Prime page, it says by Ernie Ball, from Ernie Ball, but shipped Prime, so which means Prime has it in their warehouse, but they're from Ernie Ball. So I found that odd, and then when I get three sets of strings, three sets, you know, that are expensive, because they're flat wounds, um, that you wouldn't have three defective sets in a row, which I did. Now, I say defective. Um, the 45 strings, your high string, were all too short to reach the tuner, and they're supposed to be for a long scale bass. So they just didn't even come close. So, and if you saw my video on that, you'll know they didn't come close. All the other strings did. So the third package that I got, and I opened the third package up while I was on the phone with, with Ernie Ball, customer service, and I said, this isn't a plastic bag, plastic packaging. And he told me they're supposed to be in foil, the ones in plastic package. I wouldn't pick this out of the air. I have no clue. I would never make this up because it makes no sense to make it up. He's the one who told me this. That that's old packaging from at least four to five years ago. So we're talking about strings that have been sitting around forever. And have you ever opened up strings and had rust on them or corrosion? Because I have. And that's, that's the problem. That's why. But I digress. So I open up the strings while I'm on the phone with them. And I find that, once again, the 45 is too short. But this time, they put two 100s in the 100 bag. That's right. The package weighed more than the... I knew it when I grabbed it. I said, this weighs more. They had two 100s, the big string, that one, in there. He says, well, geez, I really apologize for that. For your inconvenience, I'm going to send you out a couple sets of strings. The right ones. Perfect. Awesome. In the meantime, I borrow a string... I borrow a string to put on my base because I'm lacking one. I got three on it. So I borrow one from a friend. Yes, we ghettoed it. And I did a demo with it for YouTube. It still sounded great. Anyhow, so, but I'd like the right strings on it. Seeing how I've been raining circles a little bit and I paid for these strings. So the strings come today and you just saw that. And they're in plastic. So I called up Eric again and I said, Eric, before I open these, I need you to know that these are in plastic. These are the old stock ones. Oh, that's interesting. That's not the response I was looking for. That's the only response I got. That's interesting. How about that's not right? I'm going to personally send you the new strings that aren't ancient and in foil. That would have been the right response. So the customer service from being good from Ernie Ball to being, well, okay, here's some shitty strings again. See ya, goodbye. Here's two sets of shitty strings. I'd rather have one good set of strings, one good set, than the five bad sets. Does that make sense? Because this is for my base. One I'm not getting rid of, it's for me. So that kind of upset me, kind of irked me a little bit. So... And he left it at that. Okay, well, just let me know if they fit or not. Not, hey, why don't you see if they fit right now while we're on the phone? Nothing. Wanted to shoo me away. So that pissed me off. And that's why I'm doing this video. I was nice on the phone. I'm not going to be a jerk. I can be a jerk in other ways. And doing videos like this is, I guess, a way of getting the word out that, well, they told me that it's old stock. So I'm telling you what they told me. They told me initially that it was old and they don't know why it's being sold, to, hey, here's two more old sets. That's interesting. So I hope you guys find this interesting. And we're going to go over here and we're going to open them up right now and check them out and see if it's long enough again. So this will be pack 
four. We're just going to open up one. Why don't we open up one? Let's do that. Let's flip you around here. Okay, so let's go over. And I'm going to just so you guys know that I am not full of shit. When you look these strings up here, they are in the foil packaging. You see this white foil? There you go. That's what they're supposed to look like. And that's what they look like on the Amazon picture also. And then here is what they send us. Now, there's a big difference here, right? Plastic packaging just loosely in there. No quality control numbers on the inside. No, nothing like that. So let's let's sit this down over here. And perhaps we can open it. Maybe we can't. Hold on here. Just rip it open. So let's do this. Get this open here. Yeah, I know I'm holding the camera all willy-nilly, but you guys want to see, right? So let's check it out. So we're going to open this up. We'll see if there's quality control numbers on the inside of this leaflet. Nothing is there quality control on this side of this leaflet. Nothing. So there's nothing to be distinguished. And we have 100. I believe that's, yeah, that's one 100 because, well, it feels like one, not two. <laughs> so let's go to our string I have the consistent problem with. And that is this 45 right here. And here it is. Hold on here. I'm going to set you. Let's get you set up so you can really see. Don't mind the studio. It is a wreck. But let's go over here. And we'll go to this. My base. And um, hopefully get you zoomed in here. There we are. So. In the string. And this is the problem right here. This was the problem before this blue right from here to here come onto the fretboard. So let's see if this is going to be a continuing problem. So that's going to go into here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a string that fits. So good, we have a string that fits. And I'm going to tell you something. This string is a lot smoother than the one I got from my buddy. So we're gonna we're gonna let's go. I'm gonna check another string because I may restring this. Let's check the 100. While right, we're here, let's check that out. Make sure it's all. I'm going to tell you something right now. Yep, that works, but I'm going to tell you something. The texture of the strings is totally different. So whatever's going on here, they're different. They're just different. These, The ones that they just sent me, they're in plastic, but man, are they smooth. These strings, you can see the gaps. These are smooth, smooth. But wait, dear the MOA. <laughs> So, I just learned something else very interesting. So, here's the new string. Ooh, it's beautiful. So, when I put the, well, the last set that I put on, which would be, I guess, the first set that I started to put on and never took the three off, I thought it felt kind of, I went for lights because, well, I don't like all the stress on my neck. It's a set neck, and I don't want all the stress on it. So I went for lights, and I said, man, I didn't gauge them. I said, well, I'll do the 100. 100 to 45, that's their light set. You know what? I just found out something very interesting. So, so this gauge right here, and I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. I don't know if it will. There are two different gauges. Let's see if I can get you in there. There are two different gauges. This gate, okay, so right here, see this right here? This is supposed to be the 100. The 100 is the size, well, of the second string here. But this one right here is like a 105. And this is a 100. So they even, I know you can't see that real close, guys, and I apologize. But they're, they're two different gauges. Um, they're even the wrong gauge. So this set that I just opened for you guys is apparently the right gauge and well, that makes a lot of sense why that string is a lot smoother, right? <laughs> wow, when does it end? Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be running Ernie Balls anymore. 
um, for flat wounds, I think I'm going to have to go with something even more pricey that there's no quality control issues. Um, and especially since it's now across the whole spectrum of the custom ones I wanted to run. So, yeah, it's just what it is. Uh, maybe maybe someday I'll give them a shot again. But that's this is it. This is the last time I string up a base with Ernie Balls for quite a while, you know. Um, and these strings, are flat wounds are not cheap. So I thought I'd share, guys. Um, do I, will I continue to use Ernie Balls on my electric guitars? Of course, I love them. Um, I've never had an issue with them, but apparently the bass strings had some problems. And I'm going to guess it's the old manufacturing process or techniques or whatever. But, man, come on, Ernie Ball. Something you got to fix. You can't you can't continue to sell these plastic packaged strings because, man, it's all over the place. I'm just one person. I can just imagine how it is with everybody else. All right, guys. Last time, I that's it. I promise. I'm out. Peace. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.